Replacing an existing range hood can be a very easy way to not only improve the ventilation in a kitchen and home, but to also improve the overall look and function of a kitchen. Before starting, have installation instructions handy, protect the work surface, and most importantly, make sure the power is off. Tools needed for the installation include measuring tape, metal adhesive tape, pliers, approved electrical clamp, wire nuts, and screwdrivers. The Allure One range hood provides a duct or non-duct recirculation option. Ducting a range hood is the best way to eliminate smoke, odors, and excess humidity in a kitchen and home. This installation is a replacement of an existing ducted hood. Upon removing the existing hood, inspect the previous mounting process. The range hood features key slot locations for proper hood support. This may require the installation of shims under the recessed bottom of the cabinet. Refer to the installation instructions for proper screw placement measurements. Do not drill directly through the hood into the cabinet. Next, check the existing ductwork to make sure it will provide for the best ventilation results. Rigid metal duct is highly recommended and in some parts of the country may be required by code. Never use plastic duct. Make sure the duct matches the exhaust connection coming off the new hood. It's okay to adapt from rectangular to round duct, and it's easy. Check to see that a minimum number of transitions and elbows are used to connect to the final wall or roof cap for exhaust. To prepare the hood for installation, remove the 7-inch round duct plate from on top of the hood. Set the duct plate aside along with the mounting screws. Now remove the tape holding the filters in place. Pull down on the filter tabs and lift the filters out, setting them aside. Remove the rectangular duct connector from inside the hood. Set the connector aside along with a parts bag. Next, remove the wiring cover from inside the hood, setting aside the cover and mounting screws. Depending on the installation, remove either the top or back wiring knockout and install an approved electrical cable clamp. Remove the light panel, which is held in place with five number eight screws. Disconnect the light assembly wire harness. Allure range hoods are set up for non-duct recirculation that must be converted when being ducted to outdoors. In the case of the Allure 1, remove the air chute, which is held in place with a screw, being careful not to disconnect any wires. Now, remove the baffle from the air chute. Rotate the baffle, then reinsert the baffle into the air chute so that the baffle tabs fit all the way into the slots in the air chute. A click will be heard when it's fully installed. This will close off the airflow through the non-ducted slots on the top of the hood, allowing the air to be directed to the duct. Next, reinstall the air chute, reconnect the wire harness, and replace the light panel. Be careful not to trap wires between panels. This installation calls for using the rectangular connection on top of the hood. Remove the 3 and one quarter by 10 inch knockout. Remove the tape from the damper flap. Attach the damper duct connector over the knockout opening, making sure the damper pivot is nearest to the top or back edge of the hood. If using the round connector, remove the appropriate knockouts from the top of the hood and reinstall the 7-inch round duct plate, which was removed earlier. Then connect to the existing 7-inch round duct. If there is not an existing backdraft damper, install a 7-inch round damper, which is purchased separately. The damper flap must open freely in the direction of the airflow away from the range hood. Next, connect the 120 VAC house wiring to the hood and secure with the electrical cable clamp. Next, hang the hood by locating the mounting screw positions on the wood shims. Start the screws, but don't tighten them the entire way. Hang the hood from the four mounting screws. Slide the hood towards the wall until the mounting screws are engaged in the narrow end of the four keyholes. Now, tighten mounting screws securely. Connect the house black wire to the hood black wire, then the house white wire to the hood white wire and finally the house ground to under the green ground screw. 
Make sure the cable clamp onto the house wiring is tight. Replace the wiring cover. Connect the ductwork to the hood using HVAC tape to make the joint secure and airtight. Install the appropriate bulbs purchased separately. In a short amount of time, both the ventilation in the kitchen and the overall appearance and function have been greatly enhanced.